Hey, it's uh, Matt on Comics, and this is my review of uh, Pax Americana. Um, this book, <clears throat> I've kind of been waiting, I think, for a long time for this book. Um, it's by Grant Morrison and Frank Whiteley doing the artwork. They've teamed up together um, and come up with something, again, unique, like they did with We Free. Um, and it has so many sources in it, and it draws so many um, different feelings and different characters in its uh, multiversity uh, kind of thing. It it's it's complicated. I think that's my main thoughts on it. It's 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 complicated. Um, You've got characters like uh, um, Captain Atom, who's basically Dr. Manhattan. Uh, the Question, who's Rorschach. Um, you've got uh, Blue Beetle, uh, who's um, Alman. Um, and you've got, um, I can't remember her name now, um, who's Silk Spectre, basically. Um, I haven't seen a comedian yet. But that might be the peacemaker. Um, it's it's like you had planetary, and they mixed the um, the backstories for like Superman, for Green Lantern, um, and and they just turned her on its head and like and and warped how it it might have played out in a different universe at a different time, and. This multiversity is doing that again, and it's basically like, it's kind of like a Watchmen thing. It starts with the death of a president uh, through assassination, and there's a lot of symbolism with, um, you know, the Ouroboros, you know, the infinity symbol and eight. Um, and it's why this person did this act, and destroyed this um, almost utopian America in committing this act and you, you've got oh it's so big it is so big um, you, you've got all these kind of theories underlying it um, um, like uh, Captain Adams um, character is almost like borderline autistic he exists in past present and future and assimilates all at once and he's never quite focused on the moment um, and it you, you you've got that um, the Rorschach character who um, it is completely like you know it seems to be completely like black and white. He's trying to um, find out uh, about the death of Yellow Jacket and um, why uh, this lady was killed and why she left a message and how she managed to do it. And it, it's there's so much in it. This first issue is like bang, and the pieces are all on the table and. Luckily, you've got this team working together who's they've worked together amazingly before and they will after this. Um, and through Frank Whiteley's artwork, he ties it all into big, kind of like artistically beautiful uh, panels. Um, and then in the next one, he fractured it down again into little tiny little panels, which build up through the information in that into the whole. When you look back on it, and it's a, it's, it's big. I think this is going to be one of those books I read a few times, a bit like Watchmen, which has so many meanings and depths to it. Um, through the main story and the the subtle understory of the Black Freighter, um, with this one, it again, it's um, you know I'm comparing it to like the big 
Watchmen, you know, this it's a it's a book that drove me into into collecting comics and, and drove me into um, appreciating the story and complexity you find in these uh, small little books. Um, and this is one of those ones. Um, I if you've read Flex Mentalo, where it's dealing with reality and then also is it reality and then step back again and then is it controlled by the imagination of someone it's like a puzzle in a story that somebody else is reading and then somebody else is looking over that person's shoulder again it's it, perspective is everything in, in, in comic books and this one lends itself to so many different thoughts and so many different ideas it could be amazing it started off really complex and I'm not sure how many people are going to get it and how many people are going to appreciate for what it is but I think it's just got the it's got that something which could be amazing or it could go in the opposite direction of certain aspects of his writing and be too clever and not an and you kind of have to like only be him to get the full meaning of it or have him explain it to you because he's a very clever man and he writes very cleverly but he also writes a lot for himself I think a, a, a few people have done that in time and some of this works some of it some of it hasn't but I'm hoping this does it's a great first issue um, I'm not bothering with rating scores anymore. I, I, I really enjoy this. And it's a thought provoker. And I just love how they, you know, a Pax Americana. And, you know, it's, it's, it comes from the original um, Pax Romana when, when Rome was going through the height of its peaceful stage. And now, in the opening of the book, the peace is destroyed great like reverse um, storyline to it and then at the, at Frank quietly does it brilliantly um, I'm sure Grant Morrison has a lot of um, input on this but Frank quietly he's got that spark of genius again that's why I think they work so well together um, but with We Three it was amazingly simple it was very little dialogue it was a lot of art and a lot of suggestion and leading the reader through the story with this is a lot of writing it's probably the most writing I've seen in a comic for a long time um, and I don't know how many people are going to get that I hope they do but not 100% sure anyway hope you enjoyed the look and the art and and everything um, let me know what you thought if you picked this up because I'd really like to like you know pick your brains on this one and have a lovely lovely week boy